Good day to each and everyone. This is I and Albert Cicopito de la Peña from the Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering and today we're going to discuss about the nominal strength and the sine strength. Nominal strength is the strength of the structural member calculated in accordance with provisions and assumptions of the strength design method of the applicable code before the application of any strength reduction factors, which is the unfactored capacity, meaning you basically calculate this out of the formulas in the manual for actual moment or shear without applying resistance factor or safety factor. From the nominal capacity, if you divide it by delta, you end up with the allowable strength. I like to delta is a factor safety, which is always greater than. Note that for seismic design, there is a thing called over strength factor, which uses the symbol. This has nothing to do with the safety factor delta that we use here, so make sure that you don't get confused. So now you get your demand and capacity so that check if you if your design is okay or no good okay otherwise ng design strength the design strength is usually establish a priority based on past experience it must be high enough to cover the uncertainties and variability in opening stress or load material and manufacturing processes in a traditional de deterministic design approach, a safety margin is served in order to achieve a reliable design. <laughs> By definition, the safety factor and safety margin are arbitrary multipliers used to ensure the re reliability of mechanical items during the design phase. Similarly, you do the same thing for LRFD. From the nominal capacity, you should multiply by phi to obtain the design strength. From, from there, you check your demand versus capacity. So, salamat kadiyaw and thank you. God bless.